Since Sunday, there has been heavy deployment of security forces, but today it was exceptional as there was a demonstration against corruption scheduled to take place. Very early in the morning, our cameras spotted a number of security blockades. As hours went by with security forces around the city, a few protesters were seen preparing to march to parliament in demonstration of the rampant corruption at the house. These were heard singing corruption songs, chanting corruption must stop, among other statements. <laughs> With not so many steps taken, the protesters were interjected by the Joint Security Forces in different parts of the city and arrested, being taken to different police stations without rejecting arrest, chanting anti-corruption statements. We got a chance to hear from some of those that were being arrested and this is what they had to say. We've been blaming our leaders that yo, you see, our officers need good pay. Our madam people in good uniform need good pay. Our officers sleep up there in Nagulu. Our officers, these are guarant men and women who sacrifice their time and they get peanut of payment while a speaker of parliament and it and it among i do have a proof there is a proof on internet that every week madame Anita among you receive over 400 million shillings a week you see and we, in villages we do have um, schools which cannot have sanitary pads our girls miss school because they cannot afford sanitary pads. While Matthias Mpuga stole 500 millions, which can actually um, uh, be good budget for over 680,000 kids to have sanitary pads. This demonstration has attracted participants from different sectors who feel hit by corruption in the country and some of them spoke to the media. I wouldn't stay with myself. I wouldn't feel peace with myself being at home watching this over media, watching this over social media, as young people are demonstrating what is affecting all of us, and also um, by the mere fact that they could be harassed by the, by the uh, security officers, by other agencies, the police, and uh, I could offer a thing or two to help save a life or at least combat an emergency. So I came out here personally to ensure that I could offer a medical help that is that is required, first aid or whatsoever, to ensure that we could save the life of two of the people who are out there. We have come out today to join our voices together to say that we fight against corruption in Uganda. We are fighting corruption. We are the only way. There is no way we can stop this vice in Uganda unless we join our voices, we join our efforts as Ugandans. No one is going to do this for us. We can do it for ourselves. We are fighting corruption. In some places of Kampala, businesses were closed in fear of the protests, and we got a chance to cross roads with Thaddeus Musoke, the chairman, Kasita, who gave his thought on this situation. Some traders worked, but some traders were scared. So, you know, you need to first of all analyze and make follow-up. Uh, but uh, currently, I'm moving around the city to ascertain how it has affected our operations today. He calls upon government to engage different stakeholders in the fight against corruption. We still appeal to the government to engage different stakeholders to come up with a common position which is good for our country. Uh, because we the traders and other Ugandans pay taxes. So there is no way we can, we can support any corrupt tendencies. Uh, we are happy also the president has continued to commit himself to, to fight corruption. Uh, so we just appeal that let the government engage different stakeholders 
for the common good of our country. The demonstration is fueled by seven key demands, which include resignation of the Speaker, the four backbench commissioners, and any member of parliament found in any corruption scandal, reducing the number of members of parliament, auditing lifestyles of the members of parliament, cutting their salaries to three million Ugandan shillings, and allowing Ugandans to continuously enjoy their right to peaceful demonstrations. It is anticipated that the demonstrations will continue until the Speaker resigns.